City of Douglas Mayor and Commission regular meeting to order for the evening of May the 27th, 2014. I'll welcome everybody to tonight's meeting. At this time, I call on Commissioner Marty Swain for invocation. Yeah, uh, tonight we have uh, from Nichols, Georgia, Pastor Jane Riles from the Miracle Deliverance Center of Nichols, Georgia. He's not only a pastor, but he's my brother-in-law. He's going to come and do a, a invocation for us. If you would, Mr. Riles, to the podium. Welcome, Pastor. We're glad to have you tonight. <coughs> So, Lord, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we're so grateful tonight. Praise God for these your people that has gathered in December in this assembly tonight. Lord, we ask you to look on each and every one in this building. God, we ask you now for God, your wisdom, Lord, to go by and do the thing that need to be done. Praise God. And we ask you right now, God, to look on our county, our surrounding cities, Lord. And Lord, we ask you, praise God, that you bring everything into order. And Lord, we ask you to continue to keep your hands upon each and every one, especially our officers that are out on, on patrol. And we give your name praise, we give your honor, name glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for coming over. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. <coughs> this time I'll ask uh, Stanley Mayor if he'll lead us in our pledge since our ROTC folks aren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Stan. Okay, before we start, I'd like to uh, again add my uh, uh, wishes for uh, Memorial Day. I hope everybody had a good uh, weekend, long, safe weekend. And uh, celebrated Memorial Day in, in the proper way to give honor and respect for those uh, men and women who uh, perished in the service uh, of our country. So uh, um, honored that we had those uh, services here in our community, and uh, add my uh, thanks to all those families who uh, shared in all that uh, those Memorial Day services. Uh, this time, I would ask uh, for a motion to approve the minutes as discussed in the work session for the meeting of May the 12th uh, work session regular meeting. Make a motion to approve the minutes as printed. Okay, have a motion second by Commissioner Anderson. All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? The motion carries. Minutes from May the 12th are approved. I need a motion to approve or the agenda as uh, established on the agenda and in established in the work session. So, so moved. Motion by Commissioner Swain or second. Second. Second by Commissioner Hutchinson. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Our agenda is approved. The first order of business is to have a public hearing in regard to the FY15 budget. Mr. Davis, are you going to lead that discussion or are you going to open it up or? Yes, before we actually get into conducting the actual public hearing, we're going to go back over to the funds budget thing. Jacob wants to go over okay. the numbers again here, and like I said, then we'll open it up for the official public hearing. Uh, kind of quickly, but as quickly as you as you want to go. This is basically the same uh, presentation that we had during the other bu uh, budget work session meetings. Um, right, you Anyway, while they're working on that number, the uh, the the general fund, like I said, as, as we discussed in the work session meetings, the um, of the general fund is thirteen million five hundred eighty-six thousand and twenty-two dollars, which is a uh, uh, little bit uh, less than one percent decrease compared to last year um, uh, budget. So nothing's changed there as far as from our work session meetings. The the next slide, if it was there, would be the utility funds. Uh, we discussed in, in the budget. That's forty-six million seven hundred eighty-six dollars and two hundred ninety-five dollars, uh, which is a um, um, just a little bit of a total increase over last year's total um, total. Um, uh, utility budget um, compared to last year. A lot of that is based on the CNG. Um, uh, um, we've got expenses in that. We've got revenues coming in from that, from the, the loan proceeds that come in, and then we also have you know the sales of CNG in there. So that increases the the gas fund budget there. You can see there's forty six uh, million seven hundred eighty six dollars and uh, two hundred ninety five dollars, which is a plus eight percent increase there. And it's uh, uh, you see it's eighteen percent increases there in, in, in the gas fund. The other, oh, go back one. Yeah. 
Well, the total other funds, which is uh, the uh, employee health fund, the uh, workman comp fund, the all the special revenue funds, that budget is uh, eight million seven hundred seventeen thousand four hundred fifty-one dollars, uh, which is a decrease of seventeen percent compared to last year, and that's due to splash. Um, well, we have we anticipated last year spending some money in the splash that we haven't spent yet, so this year uh, it was anticipated not to spend that money this year, which is the facilities uh, um, building. So that's a 17% decrease there. The overall total budget for all the special revenues, the enterprise, and the general fund is ne uh, next slide $69,089,768. Uh, which is a total 1% difference compared to last year. Like I said, and the big jump there from 13 to 14 is just plus <coughs> continue there for the next for this year too. Um, next slide. The general fund, there's it. The general, the general fund tax revenue is basically the same as it was last year, 5.6 million, um, and that's what we run every year. And all these taxes, the loss, the alcohol taxes, the housing authority in lieu of taxes, the business license, all that runs around 5.6 million, and that's what's been running for the past several years. This slide here just shows the salary and wages. Uh, as you can see there, uh, um, the, the, the actuals have been coming down. We were at 8.1, then we went to 8 million, then 7.7. .7. This year at the time of the slide was with that, uh, almost 7.8 million was projected. Looked at it earlier and looked like we're tracking right around 7.7. .7. So uh, uh, it's dropped about 60,000 in the last two weeks, but we've got some positions uh, that hasn't been filled o overall. And the current budget is for 8.3 million, which does include the 2% uh, the uh, cost of living that's in there for both the general fund and the enterprise fund. <coughs> the overall snapshot here again, uh, you can see the, the total up there is uh, of all the health care, the retirement, the workman comp, the social security. Um, um, yeah, we're at 4.9 starting in 12, and we're up to um, around 5.1 um, budget in the FY15. So uh, we've been hugging the 4.9 to 5.1 for the last four years there. And like I said, the two wild cards in that is your health care and with your uh, workman's comp. This year looks like we're going to have a lower workman comp than we uh, anticipated. And looks like, uh, don't want to jinx it, but you know we signed the uh, coffee select deal on our insurance. Uh, the last uh, three months, the insurance um, bills have been coming down each month, each week. So hopefully that trend will be there. I think we only have one um, uh, health care thing that'll be out. It's going to be a very large one in the next four weeks. So like I said, as a whole, it looks like uh, you know it is paying some dividends on the coffee select that we, we did go with. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is just quickly go over each one of the funds, the capital of each one of the funds. Uh, in the general fund, there's four hundred sixteen thousand uh, dollars in the uh, capital fund uh, for the like I said for the general fund, and like I said, and half of that is in the five police cars that's being purchased, and uh, those five are the CNG cars uh, that we talked about earlier about building the CNG station. Thanks. Here are what we call the special revenue funds, the uh, the non-general fund, non-enterprise fund. These are all the grants and special funds. You got the escrow account, the uh, the police forfeiture fund, the DNR general fund, the airport improvement, and all those are grants. So we have to show them as revenues, and we have to show them as expenses there. Splash. Uh, we got 2.9 budgeted in there, and then these are all the different areas uh, of the budget that are budgeted for. Most of them is your water, wastewater, infrastructure, uh, the compost side, and finishing up those paving like we're doing over on Shirley Avenue. Uh, all that will fall under the splash fund. The enterprise funds, uh, there's your 505, which is your water wastewater fund. Uh, there's 680,000 um, budget in capital there, and almost 95% of that is in um, pipes and dirt and, and manholes and all that. Electric department, uh, in the electric department there was uh, 340,000, and like I said, most of that uh, is uh, in improvements to the system. There's two pickups in there for the meter readers. 515, which is a gas fund, there's 391,000 budgeted in there, and all that's for renovation and gas line extensions. 
and then 540, which is your storm water, we've got $35,000 in there for drainage construction there. Next slide. In the uh, this overall as far as the budget the information there, we got 2% coal in there. Uh, the number of employees is uh, um, not shrinking or, or, or growing at this moment. Um, right now we're pretty stable in the workman's comp and health. The utility increases, the electric has a proposed two mil increase in July. On an average utility customer, that's three dollars a month based on a 1,500 kilowatt per month household. Uh, gas, there is no distribution price increases proposed. Just spot market price fluctuate each month. Uh, sanitation, there is no city increases um, on the um, uh, on sanitation, and as always, the water and wastewater is just uh, CPI plus one each month. This past increase that went into effect is right around two dollars and nineteen cents per per month on, on the water and sewer bills there. Not to increase each month, but per year. What's in there? Not to increase per month, but just per year. Per year, one time we, but, but the increase was about two dollars and something per month. Uh, the general, the question. Hold on. You, you, now, what you said, say it again, Mr. Jacob, about not the increase per month, but per year. No, I thought he was saying that the increase was uh, each month in regards to the CPI plus one. So I was I thought he was that two years. It only it only comes into effect one time a year, but it does it does affect your bill every month. Um, the general fund, like as as of this moment, is balanced. Uh, just some general recaps here: transfers are 3.5 a million out of the electric, 510 from the water. Uh, <laughs> And 493,000 from the gas. Right now, there's no use of regular general fund prior year surplus. Uh, tax digest is stagnant. Um, it's not growing. Uh, uh, it's just staying right now for the last two or three years. It's been you know, been stagnant there. The uh, local option sales tax is remaining. Uh, it's not growing, but it's not shrinking. Um, so I mean that's staying uh, uh, stable there. Um, we got limited capital and, and we got limited limited facility improvements in this budget. Next slide. Uh, just kind of some recap here on the gas. Uh, transfer to the general fund, roughly 493000 um, There's no recommended changes uh, in rates at this time. Uh, our industrial customers are, sh are shrinking. Um, the residentials is still shrinking somewhat. It's about leveled off, but we're still losing probably 30 to 50 customers a year on, on residential gas. Um, but with that loss, we're all, like I said, we're also increasing on the ag agricultural side, and we're also now increasing on the CNG side. And then, like I said, uh, as we've been talking about, you continue discussions with the smart grid system. Water and wastewater transfers to the general fund for roughly 510,000. Funds in good position to address uh, the capital improvement um, that we've got scheduled. You know, we had the 20-year master plan, and we've got the perimeter road widening project coming up. Uh, we're trying to leverage that splash in rate monies for the master plan and the uh, widening project. Uh, at this time, the water quality and reliability is stable. The wastewater capacity, we're trying to maximize as much as we can so we don't have to buy it off on that uh, an expansion of, of the plant one, one day. Um, but then we've got to talk about $60 million plant, so we're trying to buy that as long as we can. <coughs> Continue discussion concerning the smart grid, and then I said, always the discussion is how can we smartly grow our water system and our wastewater systems. <coughs> Sanitation, you know, the big thing this year is kind of focusing on, uh, uh, you know, the recycling and the pulling your cart back, kind of falling into play with what Mr. Jacob talked about earlier, the, the operation quality of life. We're trying to leverage what we can of the splash and storm waters to address maintenance issues uh, uh, with storm water system. Electric <coughs> fund is contributing about 3.5 million to the general fund. Um, constant long-term evaluation of future cost projections and wholesale, wholesale power. Planning ca uh, capital investment needs for our infrastructure. Uh, as stated earlier, two million proposed increase in July of this year, and as with other.